good gang it's ronnie here back at it again with another video so i just want to start by saying i don't know how to do makeup but i tried to do my makeup again um and i feel like i'm doing a little bit better i had on lashes a minute ago they were magnetic lashes but they fell off so i just ripped the other one off and called it a day i've been actually like if y'all have tips for lashes let me know because i've actually been struggling with that and i feel like that would have really created this look because i took some pictures anyway that's not what y'all are here for but yeah don't judge my makeup because i know it sucks and i have hooded eyes so it's hard for me to do my makeup because you can't see it if i'm looking at you but anyway 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 so as you can see from the title we're gonna be talking about do rags or bonnets and it's like such a big controversy um but i did a video maybe last year on how to put on a do rag how to tie a do rag with locks um and it actually did really well and a lot of y'all really liked it so i figured i would do another video talking about do rags and bonnets and things like that um so should you wear a do rag or should you wear a bonnet personally i wear both um it just depends on the situation for me but anyway let's start with what they are so a do rag is commonly used for waves um and a bonnet is commonly used for like uh, loose natural hair um, but basically this is what the inside of a bonnet looks like it's just this material some of them are satin some of them are rayon it just kind of depends on what you get this one specifically is velvet um, but I have a lot of satin ones most of them are satin I just like this one it makes me look like a pimp um, and then as far as bonnets any bonnet you get you're gonna want it to be a satin bonnet let me just fix that a little bit yeah so you're gonna want it to be a satin bonnet and that's what it looks like on the outside and that's what it looks like on the inside and the reason being for a satin bonnet is because it is going to make sure that your hair is not breaking while it's in it it's very soft it's not abrasive it's not going to catch your hair and rip out little strands of your hair so that is what the two of them are now as far as personally personally I work I recommend a do rag for someone who has mature locks people who have starter locks should not be wearing do rags people who have starter locks should be wearing bonnets the reason why I say this a do rag is tight and it's gonna compact your hair so for example I wear do rags because sometimes I need my hair to be flat it's looking real big and messy and frizzy because I haven't had a retwist and it also helps to make my locks look longer so that's when I would wear a do rag but for someone with starter locks wearing a do rag wouldn't be the best thing long term because it flattens your locks so your locks are not mature like mature locks you can't flatten them because they're already mature and they are in a cylindrical shape but with starter locks they're easily moldable you can really easily f them up basically in layman's terms um and so this being pressed down on your starter locks it can cause them to become flat and you don't want those flat locks you really don't um it's just not appealing unless that's what you're going for but yeah so for starter locks leave this alone wait until you get at least five to six months in and then you can start wearing these if you have starter locks you need to wear a bonnet but now onto our mature folks um like i was saying you're gonna want to wear these do rags if like if you first of all it's cute it's really cute um but second of all if you need your hair to stretch out a little bit this will help like if you put this on if you damp your hair um, just a little bit and like comb through your roots with your fingers and then you put this on for about three to four hours it will make your hair appear a lot longer and it almost will give you the appearance of having had a retwist so that is why I wear those because as you can see right now I have not had a retwist and I don't have one scheduled for what's today the 4th of February yeah I don't have one scheduled until the 20th so um i have been wearing this a lot before i go out because i've been wanting my hair to lay down a little bit or it's been in this bun um uh, but i wear my bonnets at night i do not sleep in this i do not sleep in this the reason being is because if you sleep in this your hair your head will look flat like a mug in the morning like i'm so serious you really don't want to sleep in this i mean you can if that's what you want if you like for your hair to look flat and not have much volume then yeah this is perfect for you but i personally do not wear this overnight because number one it's really easy to come off and it's like the the knots will just come off in my sleep because i am a, like a really crazy sleeper and then um it's not the same material on the inside so it is it can grab on my hair um unless i'm wearing the satin one 
and then this is just better um overall because at night it's more comfortable i have more flex flexibility in it and it's less likely to come off so as far as which one should you choose there's really not a right and wrong with this it's kind of uh your prerogative it depends on what your hair needs that day and how you're gonna give it to it basically um but the other thing with these do-rags is like I feel like a bonnet I don't know like I was gonna say a bonnet is more socially acceptable but that's actually not true because I would say I see more people wearing do-rags in public but for a lady if you care I don't care because I'm a tomboy anyway but if you care the do-rag is gonna give you more of a masculine look and the bonnet is gonna give you more of a um feminine look but I will show you guys again uh how this bonnet looks on just because So basically when I put it on, this is not a tutorial. I have a tutorial on my channel, but I will do another one if y'all want another one. Okay, okay. Um, but basically I just kind of brush my hair down a little bit first. And it's funny because a lot of you guys are not going to agree with the way I put mine on. But I didn't have any complaints in the last video I posted. So, um, so basically you take it like this and you're going to want to put it on like so. And then I tie a knot. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. And I hold it like that. Yes, I do. So I like mine's a little bit lower on my head. with this on I don't know like do rags are my comfort zone and lately I've been tying them around the back I know I think in my tutorial I showed y'all how to tie it um in a bow on the side of your head but I haven't really been doing that lately um because it's just not really the look I've been going for okay so yeah this is a bonnet I know y'all be trying to wear it like this the guys on my snaps and stuff they be trying to do like this and I think that looks so stupid. I like it as a bag. But yeah, so this is the do-rag. And as you can see, my hair is a lot flatter already because this is pushing it in. So it makes sense that when I take it off, it's going to be um, a lot more compact. So let's show you the bonnet. See, literally already. It already gives it that appearance. But yeah, then with the bonnet, I just... Put it on and I throw all my I wear this like at work all the time because yeah then the bonnet bonnets look good with hoodies I like how bonnets look with hoodies but that's just me anyway I don't know why I showed y'all what they look like um both of them but I did so don't cry about it but yeah y'all so those are the pros and cons of both of them as far as what you should choose like i said it's up to you um but i just figured i'd sh shed some knowledge on it i don't know if i did a good job or not but i don't really have anything else to say about it <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching um all that good stuff please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video leave video requests oh my god leave video requests bye